G'day everybody, welcome back to Photo Australia. Uh, we continue on with the Photocomp software. In this episode, we will be talking about how to start and set up a competition. Where did my shortcuts go? Are they, are they on this? They might have probably on this other screen. Yeah, it's flipping my screens around. So let's bring the shortcut there. And so this is what you see on your computer when yes. you set it up. I'm running multiple screens at the moment, and that's to do this recording. So at the moment, my main, main screen is on the other screen that you can't see. So you'll get a little icon that will appear on your desktop, which is the PS, PCS launcher. And from here, um, this is where you can, uh, you, you basically work at your top and work your way down when you want to do a competition. So the first one you click on is define the competition and then when you want to gather the entries from the competition you would then go to your gather entries and then when you go, want to show your thing, your presentation at the club, the competition, then you go to your show the entries and um, then you've got your published results as your final one. So if we go to define the competition, and this is the screen that you'll see next, and um, this is where you can um, uh, create a new competition, which we'll do that right now. So you can um, you can upload a competition that's already been created. So if you've created, and we'll be doing this for Monday, our competition will be uploading from one computer onto this one. You can actually uh, make the competition and gather all the entries on one computer. And then if you want to show it on this computer, um, you can actually transfer the competition onto this computer. So um, you have got that ability to, to do that. Um, so we'll, we'll stick with the PDI single class, create new, enter a name for the competition, click OK. Now it's going to ask you where you want to put the files. Here I will put it on my spare drive, which is the D drive. So um, so now it's recognised that it's an empty folder. Yes, we want to use that. Um, so here you can you can add an optional title, uh, competition date. So you select when it's on, and this is where it will automatically put your entries closed for you. So at the moment. Yeah, that's, we'll, we'll say, say the 22nd. It's got the right size in there, 1920 by 1080. You can type in your judge. You can, now this is where things have to be real important. If you've got a maximum amount of photos for a competition that a single author can put in, this is very, very important that you put your maximum amount on this screen. And then as you go through the categories, depending on how you do your competition, uh, just take very close note on how many photos a single person can put into that section and what they can put in on the overall. So with our camera club, we're allowed four photos and that can be across any of the sections, but they can only put a maximum of four in. So here we would be um, limit, limit entries per entrant so it would be they can only put four in. So if you're having a bigger competition, we have one big competition at the end of the year, and we'd have a limit there at be 30. But they can only put so many in per section, but the overall amount of photos is, is around 30 photos. So it all depends on the size competition. Down here, it's got, these are your sections. So we have two sections in our camera club, and you can divide this up however you want to. Um, with our club, we have what we call the digital section, which means that you send a file through and it's projected on a projector. You don't do any printing. And we've got another section that we do for prints, for people who like to actually print their photos and display them. So in this area, we would have what has already got there automatic, which is your PDI. You can update and change this, so we could call this one, call this one digital, and under this tab, 
you can put in your sections for that. So we can have up to three different sections. At the moment, you've got an open class. So we can, um, and here we've got the limits again. So always keep an eye on the limits. So here, it's got limit the classes an entrant may enter in this medium and limit the entries per entrant in this medium. At the moment, the entries, they can have four. So it's always four with, with our camera club. Yours may be different. And we've got more sections than that. So we'll add another section. So you might have a, a mono section. So it's brought up the mono tab. So here, same thing, Mac maximum entries per entrant for our club is four. Titles are permitted. We want, we want to make sure that um, everybody puts a title to their, to their photo. Through here, it's, a, it's a, just a matter of reading the different sections of what works for your club. We score out of 10, and it's already put that in there. Do you, do you want titles are required? Uh, so yes, so titles are required. So that, that will make them that they have to put in um, the actual title. You've got here whether you give awards or not, which we do give awards. So that's our honours and, and merits and however you want to mm. divide them up. Yep. Now, Brad, if you go up to the web tab at the top alongside Photocomp, yep. you can write a little story in there about the competition, can't you? So you each can... section, like a set subject... Um, you can have a description, so when they click on it, you might have here, if it was a set subject section, you can write set subject, peg, and you can write a bit of a definition after that. Um, that, that will come up when they go to enter in there, that will come up above their entries, so that when they enter in there they go, oh yeah, this, this is definitely the set subject section and it's got a, a little a brief description of of what it, what it's for mm -hmm. and the oversized images is also important in that as well if you just go back to web i, I, always, oh, yeah, I, I always tick yep. i always tick ask yep so um with oversized images when somebody tries to put in a photo that's too big you can tick here whether to ignore which means that you would you would end up with photos of a larger size in your competition. Um, ask, which what that will do is um, it will ask you to resize it to the correct size. Um, so the actual server uh, software, the photo comp, will resize it down so it's the correct size. Or reject, which means it will throw it, throw it out so the entry won't be able to be won't go into the competition. Question for you. If you use competition default, does that mean that it auto That's automatically resizes to 1920 no, by 1080? Right at, if you're, um, at the moment we're in just one section. If you go back to the main screen there and click on web, and that's yep. where I've got it ticked on our computer, yep. that means that this will use that default. Okay. So you don't gotcha. have to. So you gotcha. don't have to go into each section and tick ask. Okay. okay. Uh, that way, yeah, it, it it applies to the whole competition. Yep. 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 Getting back to the digital, we now have two classes. So we've got an open class and a mono class. So with the open one, uh, any time you want to review the class, you just click update, and this was a default one that was already there, which has got the incorrect settings because that's got to be 4, and this here has to be scored out of 10. Um, here you also have a look, we only allow JPEGs, so I always tick off the, the other um, tick boxes. Like I said, just take a bit of time in reading what's on the screen before you click apply. Uh, 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 uh. Every mistake you made is going to cost you a beer, sunshine. I'm only doing this as a very rough. Uh, why no, would why this too? Stop? This is too rough. Megabytes. Yeah, maximum, yeah, maximum, yeah I saw that there. Maximum file size. That that also happens on the the main default screen as well. Oh bugger! So okay. you, you can you can okay right on. you can you can put that in there. Right so, and that would be mainly if you've got multiple sections that have multiple different resolutions. Yeah. I'm not yeah. sure who would do this, but there'd be some weird yeah. people yeah. out there yeah. that would yeah. do that. 
So say if you're running a high resolution competition and a, just a normal resolution competition, yeah. you'd be able to set that section to be a lot higher uh, resolution and mega, mega, uh, megabytes. Mm -hmm. And say if it was like a high detailed macro section, you'd right. be able to set that they can put in a higher resolution than some of the other sections. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if you, if you click apply and you go back to this main screen, here, if you go to your to your your web options, and some of this has changed a little bit from what I remember, web options. Yeah, he has changed this recently. Um, now this one's really important. Yeah, there's some stuff here by looks. Yep. Uh, ask entrance for their postal address. We yeah. don't don't no. worry about that. Ask entrance for their club. No. Um, that's only if you've got multiple clubs. Yep. This is the next one is the important one. Identify members by their email address. That's very important for us. Uh, where we, which we'll show in a minute, where we enter the actual members' details, they have to give us their email address. And that's important for them to receive the um, notifications from the software, but um, it also for them to enter into the competition, they have to um, put their email address in and then that logs them against their information in the software. Yep. So for us, that's very important. Ask entrance for their membership number. We, so you could do it that way if you want to. So we don't bother with that because it's all linked to their email address. And ask entrance to tick if they are a member. Um, that's uh, another thing that we don't, don't worry about because it's linked to their... Uh, email address and our competition set up that um, unless you're put into the computer you can't enter so if you're an outside source and we haven't got the email address logged into our software it will not let them enter you ain't getting in brother unless you're not we getting got your in email. unless your email address yep. is active I'll show the class now, menu this one instead of this step one is important entry. to us show the class menu instead of step by step yep. entry okay yep. This is where, um, if we leave this unticked, we go <clears throat> the, when you get later into the program, you're doing your entries, you go through it page by page. If you tick it, you get a little uh, drop, you get a little um, highlighted um, um, options on the screen and you can jump to a, to a different class without having to scroll through all the others. So okay. we've... That's, we have been ticking that one in recent times. Okay, yep, yep. See, I'm um, not aware of yep. that, that thing. That's probably been later that is since I've been That is being changed involved. a bit. We don't, we untick this one. Allow entrance to request prints to be held for collection. So we don't need that one for, for uh, what we do. Look, look after them yourselves, folks, with all due respects. Allow entrance to request the return of prints. No, once we, we, once we got them, that's it. Yep. <laughs> Ask entrance if they will be under so many years old on the competition day. We don't worry about that. No, that could be embarrassing for us. Require. Yeah. E yes. <laughs> with this, with this <laughs> one here. I mean, we don't have young photographers. <laughs> Do we make that like if you're under Six, eighty? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, if you're um, under sixty-five, yeah. we, we we need proof of age. Yeah, proof of age. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, because we'll be shocked and stunned. <laughs> Um, so require entrance to tick that they will comply with the rules. With our club, yes. it is a yes. And um, we have got it written, a set of rules before they enter that our biggest thing is to make sure there's no copyright material. So anything that's of a, another author, so you have to be the actual photographer uh, who's taken the photo and it doesn't breach any copyright laws. So that's a big thing for our club. So we've got that written in there that they comply with the rules and there's a few other rules and whatnot. So yep. we make that as a thing that they have to tick that before they enter. Tidy, um, tidy title text on download. What's that one? I don't know. I have one. no idea. Just go down the bottom. Phil, of a, Phil's going to clock us for not yeah, knowing right. this stuff. Just go down to about this page down the bottom and see if it tells us down there. Yep. That's yes. a good thing. If you don't that understand went, That went well. Oh, here we go. It's all right. It's on okay, my main so screen. There. So if you don't know something, um, down the bottom of each page, Phil has got a about this page. So you click on it and you can actually find out everything that's written on there. Um, so if we go down to... So we've got resolution. Not sure on that one. 
Don't know. I guess we could uncheck it and see what it does and make it, if, whether it looks after punctuation or capitals or something like that, perhaps. Anyway. Yeah, not, not, not sure on that one. Moving right along. Click apply. Oops, I clicked on apply in the competition. Anytime you click back out and you want to get back into the competition, you just got update competition data. So um, the word update, so any time you see update, that will get you back in to change um, any fields or any, anything about competition. So if you go back to update, so if you want to make another class here, which is, we, we have a print class, so you just type print. Now this, on the right hand side there, click to copy from, so, so this is where you can copy your, all your data across, all your, your settings across without, without having to go back in and do it again, correct? Correct. So this will mirror, if you click on PDI, that will mirror what you've just set in, in the PDI um, area. So um, that can save a lot of time by doing that. Um, so now it's come up with this again here. So same thing, it's copied everything we did in the digital. Other thing you want to look here is um, we, as a club, we keep it all as digital. So here you can click here, which says designates that it's a print section. And then you've got with optional PDI or required PDI. So, and that's new too, actually. Yeah, you didn't the, quite have it that yeah, way. The before. required P, uh, uh, so, PDI is what we, we use at Goolwa. Yep. And, um, um, whereas, I don't know whether ours is still set up, originally... With prints, you didn't have to put a digital That's right. That's file right. in. It had there, I think you could tick, it was optional. Hmm. So I then kept all our competitions just yeah, as digital. Yep. And that way, that then they have to send in a photo. Yep. Um, with, our uh, with our club, uh, every entry has to have a digital footprint, a digital photo with it. And that's mainly because our committee will then go through um, all our entries, even the prints. And um, for outside competitions, we get to look at everybody's photos. So Yes, and it makes it so much easier when you're um, going back searching for stuff if you're, if you're entering into uh, um, other, other competitions, etc., and you're trying to find an image. It's, to be able to go back and find this sort of information is really good. Yeah. So, yeah, with, yeah, so there's a few tick boxes here yep, that are, that you, are new and to you, And you view it as a PDI as yep, well. Yeah. Yep. Mm, that's interesting. Yep. Uh, so if we go to update those classes, and I always check all the classes before I put up a competition. This is a test, so I'm sort of blazing through a little bit quicker. Mm -hmm. Reason is, is don't want the video to be too long. So with this here, maybe you might have to do it for each section. I didn't see, we'll click apply. There used to be a overall one. Uh, click OK. Well, uh, I don't think there is because... He, might have, he may have... Um, no, hang on. Here we are. Under here. Oversize images. So you've got ignore, ask. Oh, that's where so you said it. So this is where there. I tick it. Ask. Okay, right out. And um, that way, then it should be all yep, the yep, categories yep, yep. Gotcha. should fall under default, which is this yep. is the default. Yep. Yep. Right. There you go. So you're never too old to learn. And I've just so, learned something um, there today. And this is the sort of stuff with this software. If you spend a little bit of time getting this part of it set up right, it makes it so much easier later. It's got a tip box here for um, web judging. Oh, Leave image seen files that. on the web ready for judging via the web. Yeah, well, there you box. go. So we'd to certainly tick that. Yes, so he's got an option now since the corona has happened. <laughs> he's put a bit more... Um, he's always had this feature in his software. N not a lot of clubs have used it until, um, until now that people can't meet in groups. So he's been putting a, a lot of effort and time into changing things and just polishing it a bit. Um, so what you can do now is when you run a competition, you can run it completely online. So the, that way that um, you're not meeting, you'll have the judge will be at his own home and he can log into Photocomp online, go through your photos, score them 
and which we'll do in a sec. Yeah, go online, score them, give them a comment, and go right through the competition, then submit them. Goes back to the um, competition secretary. He can then download the comments and the scores, and um, then he can distribute them to the membership in however way you want to do it. So it's a really good feature for doing that while we can't meet at the moment. So uh, in doing and that, you have to leave your photos on the server. And so, he's still claiming us. Phil, we're not in England. <laughs> we left. Uh, well, we so got, well, actually, we didn't leave. We got kicked out, but it's all right. Oh. Uh, a, 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 there we are. Down, 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 there we go. And I bet you when you go back in later, he'll have stuck in there and changed it back uh, in. No, well, once, once you get everything all set up on all the pages, yeah, he's streamlined a lot of things since mm. I've last... It's been a long time since I've installed and set up a photo mm. comp from scratch. Um, there's a lot of things he's streamlined, like the... Um, I was looking for this part. Mm -hmm. where it um, logs into the, um, the actual server, mm -hmm. um, which is this here. So streamlined a lot of things too. So just make sure that we've already done that one, we've done the web. Uh, just always just go over and just check everything is correct. Because he will, he will claim it. He'll, <laughs> he will. Uh, seems Australia now. Yeah, you, 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 come, you come back in later. I'll bet you we're back in England. Uh, so, um, yeah, all's looking pretty good. It's in that... Just go back one tab, Brad. Which one? The web? There, there. In the web description and rules, that you see that pretty well in the first page that comes up. So that is where you can put in things about copyright and size of images and um, you know any any rules you got whether your prints have to be matted or, or stuff like that um, that that's one of the first things that comes up when you log when when a member logs in to enter what's in that box there is um, uh, one of the first things seen yep yep so these these tabs here are your main tabs for your competition so if you, if you write stuff in here and change settings in here, this applies to the full competition. Hence why, yeah, spend a bit of time there and just double check your classes that they're correct. And then in each of these so is where the moment, you would, if you had a specific requirement or a specific rule pertaining to a category, then this is where you would go to web and you would enter it into the text box Correct. on the web. In, in here, there. you've got another description. Yep. Yep. So when they click into here, this one, say this is the digital section, mm. so you'd be saying that this is digital only. Mm. Here, also just check, uh, limit the classes an entrant may enter in this medium. Or in our club, they can enter in any class they like. So at the moment, it's on one. So what would happen is is that they'd only be allowed to enter into the one, whereas there's two classes in there. Yep. So can I can I just give um, viewers one little tip on that web tab? Going back to that web tab again, yep. if we can, please. Um, in this here, it can get confusing as to so what you're writing there as to where it appears later. Okay. So what I did. Um, one day when we got a bit confused with we had stuff appearing everywhere, I actually wrote in here um, um, number one and then wrote something and then the next one was number two. So then when it came up on the on the entry page, we were able to go, okay, so that's what that relates back to there. And I found that quite helpful initially to get my head around what was where. So uh, that may help people. Yeah. Or, make yep. it, or it may confuse you even further. <laughs> so, yeah, the main, main thing is, is just, just go over and double check that um, everything that you've got clicked on there is, is correct and fine. Go into each, each category and just double check them. Um, so this one looks okay. And go back to here. And I'll just say again, it's pretty important to... to Make sure one of those boxes is checked and you got that set up because when you're down, when you set your 
JPEG needs to be ticked as well. Yep. That wasn't when ticked. you've set your competition image size to 1920 by 1080, the last thing you want is to have that someone coming through with a much bigger image because it will play havoc with your servers and all that type of stuff. So the, the key thing is is to... Um, that didn't do it again, did it? Just go back. Uh, I'd say it probably has. Um, what is mono print? Oh, okay. JPEG's ticked on that one. So it's just it's just going through and just double checking. And after I've done all, all of these settings on and once I I'm nearly ready to put up on the um, uh, on the web, I'll just double check these again and just make sure that everything's all set. Now this doesn't mean that you have to do this every month. Once you get it correct and it works perfectly the way that you want that then becomes a template so then you can use that template and you don't have to go into the workings of this and change them unless your competition changes and you can add to this competition or subtract very easily and very quickly once you get all these settings nailed down and the competition's perfectly set up for your club it is very quick to, to start a new competition because need, when, we, when you go to create a new one you can use this as a template yep. And, yep, we, we, need, we need to go back to that screen there's something there that we now in this competition is this competition for members only into club or open it's for members so, only so this one here is for members only good, good little pick up there Grant can, can I just jump, jump in there yeah go for it as one that's I only started using this as a photo comp organizer last late last year, so I'm pretty new to this. Um, and I stress to people take your time, you don't want to be doing this in a rush or under pressure, just take your time because you will get lost. I guarantee you, when you're doing this for the first couple of times, you'll be wondering, Oh, what have I done? If you're flicking back and forth, take your time and. Um, drink lots of coffee, uh, um, do a bit, walk away, uh, come back, and just get yourself familiar with it. Once you are, and as Brad's saying, once you've got it set up properly, then it's just a simple case of you create a new comp, as Brad was about to explain, and you can pick up all the, all the data out, out of this one. But that first one, take your time. This, this is actually good for me because I haven't set up a new comp, like a new software for ages. I can, it's I, been a few years actually. I can actually see that. but Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but no, it's, it, it's good because just getting for me, well actually some stuff's actually changed and moved a bit from yep. when I yep. did it originally. But um, uh, yeah, it's good. Like Grant said, take your time. Probably don't dart around. It's probably because I'm a little bit too familiar with the software. I dart around from page to page. Just, just look at the page and work your way from top to bottom and just make sure that you put whatever club rules you've, you've got into it. It also helps to have not just yourself, but maybe somebody else from your club that knows the rules and that, to help you help you through it and just say, oh, and, and look at the same screen. Naturally, at the moment, you'd have to be whatever rules you've got as far as social distancing or whatever, but um, uh, we're a bit lucky here. We've got multiple screens, but... Um, um, yeah, it does help just to, you could you could get them to have a look over the software and then they can have a look at it um, on their own sometime, just check that the settings are all okay as well. So, And I'll put my hand up for anybody that's going into this, uh, thinking about using a photo comp in the uh, Flurio region or basically uh, south and east, east of Adelaide. Um, if, you, if you need a hand, give us a go. You yeah, talk to a club that's running it because they can they can help you along the way. Don't get too scared. I, I must admit, um, because I was the guinea pig for our club. Well, down in this whole area, there weren't that a lot of people using it in in South Australia. There was a couple of clubs, and I spoke to them once, and then I just downloaded it and then just kept playing with the software with a couple of emails to fill when I stuffed things up. <laughs> But yeah, is is asks if you, if there is somebody in your state or country or whatever that you, you talk to that are running it, just just run it by them. Um, any questions and and hang in there. Don't 
just go, oh, it's just the software, I just get too lost in it. And this is with any software that you're using. It's like Photoshop, it's, it's big software, it's got a lot of features in it. And Photocomp's a bit the same, it's got a lot of features in it. And it might seem, you know, oh, it's all too hard. But um, it really isn't. Once you get it set up, it's um, very quick and easy. Once I got it set up for our club and put all these settings in there, I, I, I had a couple of little slip-ups where I missed a couple of things like Grant's pulling me up a bit now. Grant's just gone through it all and um, he's set up Gore. But um, I'm able to, I've given our club laptop to a, a competition secretary who hadn't set up anything showed him a few pointers and he's running with it and not having any problems so once it's set up it's actually pretty easy that you can actually hand it off to somebody to continue on and yep. um yeah and the other thing i'll suggest running. to your club too is when you do this don't drop it on one person um uh try and get a try and get a little bit of a panel or a group of maybe two or three people in your club that learn how to use it so that you're not reliant on just one person to be doing it. And that just makes life so much easier. That if, if someone's away or, um, you know, have, have other commitments, that it can, be, it can be picked up in a seamless fashion, an integrated manner, and it's easy. It becomes quite easy. So share, share, share the workload. So we'll leave that episode right there. That was part two of the Photocomp software. Stay tuned for part three with that. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.